Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Invention Set 4. Question number 1. What Carl Benz invented? Option A. Gasoline powered automobile. Option B. Streetcar. Option C. Glider. Option D. Steam turbine. The correct answer is Option A. Gasoline powered automobile. In 1885, a German mechanical engineer named Carl Benz designed and built the world's first practical automobile powered by an internal combustion engine. A year later, Benz received the first patent, DRP number 37435, for a gas fueled car on January 29, 1886. Benz built his first four wheeled car in 1891. Question number 2 Who invented bifocal lens? Option A. Alfred B. Nobel. Option B. Thomas Alva Edison. Option C. Benjamin Franklin. Option D. Rudolf Diesel. The correct answer is Option C. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin FRS FRSC was an American polymath and one of the founding fathers of the United States. Franklin was a leading author, printer, political theorist, politician, Freemason, postmaster, scientist, inventor, humorist, civic activist, statesman, and diplomat. Question number 3. Ralph Samuelson was only 18 when he invented this sporting item in 1922. What was that? Option A. Golf tee. Option B. Motorboat. Option C. Water skis. Option D. Hang glider. The correct answer is Option C. Water skis. The new item was first used on Lake Pepper in Minnesota. Water skiing was invented in 1922 when Ralph Samuelson used a pair of boats as skis and a clothesline as a tow rope on Lake Pepper in Lake City, Minnesota. Samuelson experimented with different positions on the skis for several days until the 2nd of July 1922. Question number 4. What invention was first installed at a Hartford? Connecticut Bank in 1889. Option A. Automatic Teller Machine. Option B. Time Lock Safe. Option C. Burglar Alarm. Option D. Pay Telephone. The correct answer is Option D. Pay Telephone. William Gray, inventor of the pay telephone also invented the inflatable chest protector worn by baseball umpires and catchers. Question number 5. What piece of clothing was invented by French fashion designer Louis Rayard in 1946? Option A. Zoot suit. Option B. Mini skirt. Option C. Bikini. Option D. Tank top. The correct answer is Option C. Bikini. The Bikini, a two piece swimsuit named for the Bikini Atoll in the Pacific, made its debut on July 5, 1946. Question number 6. In which year was MIDI introduced? Option A. 1987. Option B. 1983. Option C. 1973. Option D. 1977. The correct answer is Option B. 1983 Dave Smith, founder of Californian synth legend sequential circuits and now head of Dave Smith Instruments, anticipated the demand for a more powerful universal protocol and developed the first version of the MIDI standard, which was released in 1983. Question number 7. In which decade was the Spice Simulator introduced? Option A. 1950s. Option B. 
1960s, option C, 1970s, option D, 1980s. The correct answer is option C, 1970s, SPICE, simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis was introduced in May 1972 by the University of Berkeley, California. Question number 8. Who invented the first controllable flying airplane? Airplane. Option A. Wright Brothers. Option B. Lidenberg Brothers. Option C. South Brothers. Option D. West Brothers. The correct answer is Option A. Wright Brothers. Wilbur and Orville Wright made the first successful controlled powered flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, in December 1903. The 12 second flight covered a distance of 120 feet and an altitude of just 10 feet. Question number 9 What groovy item was invented by Englishman Edward Craven Walker in 1963? Option A. Leisure suit. Option B. Lava lamp. Option C. 8 track tape deck. Option D. Hot comb. The correct answer is Option B. Lava lamp. Groovy, baby. Lava lamps, which were a fixture in every hip pad in the 1960s and 70s featured a mixture of water and colored oil that created swirl patterns when heated by a light bulb. Question number 10. In which decade was the internet first implemented? Option A. 1940s. Option B. 1950s. Option C. 1960s. Option D. 1980s. The correct answer is Option C. 1960s. The first message ever sent over what is now called the Internet took place at 10.30 pm on October 29, 1969. Back then, the Department of Defense called it ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. Question number 11. What did cardiologist Dr. Paul Zoll invent in Massachusetts in 1952? Option A. EKG. Option B. Artificial heart valve. Option C. Artificial heart. Option D. Pacemaker. The correct answer is. Option D. Pacemaker. The pacemaker is an electrical device that regulates the heartbeat. Question number 12. What Elmer A. Sperry invented? Option A. Hydroplane. Option B. Hydraulic turbine. Option C. Magnetic compass. Option D. Gyro compass. The correct answer is. Option D. Gyro compass. Elmer Ambrose Sperry, Sr. was an American inventor and entrepreneur, most famous as co-inventor with Herman Anschutz Kampf of the Gyro Compass and as founder of the Sperry Gyroscope Company. His compasses and stabilizers were adopted by the United States Navy and used in both world wars. Question number 13. For whom high heel shoes were invented? Option A. Cleopatra. Option B. Queen Elizabeth I. Option C. King Louis XIV. Option D. King Charles II The correct answer is Option C King Louis XIV King Louis XIV was very short and didn't like looking up at people he spoke to so he had a tall pair of shoes made for him Question number 14 What toy did George Lerner create for Hasbro company in 1952 Option A Sit and spin. Option B. Talking baby doll. Option C. Mr. Potato Head. Option D. Hula Hoop. The 
The correct answer is Option C Mr. Potato Head This was a plastic potato shaped body on which you could stick different features such as eyes ears etc Question number 15 Who invented dynamite Option A Sir Alexander Graham Bell Option B Benjamin Franklin Option C Thomas Alva Edison Option D Alfred B. Nobel The correct answer is Option D. Alfred B. Nobel Alfred Bernhardt Nobel was a Swedish businessman, chemist, engineer, inventor, and philanthropist. Nobel held 355 different patents, dynamite being the most famous. The synthetic element nobelium was named after him. Question number 16. Who came up with the idea for instant mashed potato? Option A. S. Tuberosum. Option B. W. Raleigh. Option C. E. S. L. Bergs. Option D. K. Edwards. The correct answer is Option C. E. S. L. Bergs. Instant mash was invented by Edward R. S. L. Bergs, a Canadian, in 1962. The mash is actually dehydrated potato flakes. Question number 17. William Frederick is credited with the invention of the modern frisbee in the mid-1950s. In 1957 the wham -O company bought his idea and the rest is history. They named the toy after William Frisbee who was a underscore. Option A. Pie maker. Option B. Owner of a pizza parlor. Option C. Student at Yale. Option D. Ceramic plate designer. The correct answer is Option A. Pie maker. Frisbee made a brand of pies that were popular with Yale students in the 1870s. After eating the pies, they would throw the pythons through the air. Question number 18. Corn flakes. Who made them first? Option A. Nabisco. Option B. Kellogg. Option C. Quaker. Option D. Archers. The correct answer is Option B. Kellogg. Will Keith Kellogg discovered the cornflake by mistake in 1906. They were the result of an experiment which went wrong. Question number 19. Who developed the idea of crop rotation? Option A. Potato Peterson. Option B. Turnip Townsend. Option C. Cabbage Carlson. Option D. Sweet Svensson. The correct answer is Option B. Turnip Townsend. Why Count Charles Turnip Townsend developed this revolutionary concept? Question number 20. For over 500 years, paper was only available and sold as single sheets. In 1902, an inventive Australian used half-size sheets of paper, a bit of glue and cardboard to create the what? Option A. Notepad. Option B. Calendar. Option C. Notice board. Option D. Telephone book. The correct answer is Option A. Notepad. Birch Alls of Launceston in Tasmania started selling the world's first notepads, calling them Silver City Writing Tablets after J. Birch All thought it would be a good idea to back sheets of paper with cardboard and glue them together at the top. His British paper suppliers weren't so keen. But, they were persuaded by Birchall that it was a good idea. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.